Welcome to Enoch's Engineering, I'm Alan. Today's video we're doing some screw cutting and this is a project for my brother. What he's starting to make is a holder to hold an ER32 collet straight onto the spindle of the lathe. So he's got a chuck back plate with the thread already in it, fitted that and then onto this side he's bored it out inserted steel bar, welded it in position, then it's machined the outside down so it's all running true, machined a taper in the end for an ER32 collet and faced it all off. Now the problem he has is his machine is a Boxford Imperial lathe and he can't cut the metric screw thread because he hasn't got a metric to Imperial gear conversion. So I'll cut the thread for him on my lathe and I'll show you how to do it. So let's go into the workshop see how we do it. This is the gearbox store and I've altered the gears to suit the gear ratios for cutting a 1.5 millimeter pitch and it's on the back of the, the door here 1.5 and it says 24 on the stud gear, 48 on the screw, and figure one. Well, figure one is this figure here. So we've got 24, 48, and an 80. And that should be there. 24, 48, and 80. I've taken the chuck off. <coughs> I want to show you my standard AR32 collet. This is one that has a Morse taper, so that would go into there. And on the back is the thread, so that goes in there, your draw bar comes through and pulls that in. And then you collet, it, it's into your nut, that goes on the front there, and you're ready to go. Now the disadvantage of this is, if you have anything longer than a few inches, the draw bar is here, so you can't go any longer than that. So if you had a 12 inch piece of silver steel you wanted to put in there and turn something on the end, you couldn't do it with this because the draw bar gets in the way. You might get away with it without using a draw bar if the collet's a good fit on your Morse taper, should hold it, but it's not designed to do that. So this is an adapter that is made. It's a back plate off a chuck, so it already has the thread. As I say, my brother's is a Boxford and it's an Imperial version, but they have the same headstock thread. I'm hoping that will fit on there okay. Now what he hasn't done on this is put any way of locking that on, so we'll just tap it on this groove to lock it in position. A piece of brass rod, just do it there. So I know that is up against the face and the thread. Check the taper, it's a rough check. Just put a mark down the taper with a felt tip pen. Just take a collet. To be a bit more accurate you can put a bar in there so it's, it's not squeezing in and out. I just want to rub it in there. And it's touching at this end. It is touching out over some of the parts. Put some flats on this diameter um, so you can lock this up against the headstock, but it's not that thick here. And he's asked me to turn the thread for that so that will fit on there. Now this thread is 15mm, but he wants me to leave a little bit more. I'll leave it go 10mm more, so I'll take it to there. That should be plenty. In that case you can always recut the taper face off. He's got 10 mil to play with. If he wants to put flats on he's got plenty of space there. First thing to do is set up your thread cutting tool. This is a standard insert for thread cutting. So I'll just fit that in there. Lock that down. I've made sure that the tool 
is up against the back of the tool holder, so it's parallel with the tool holder. Next job is to set the tool to centre height. So I'll bring that round this side. There's the tool to this side. Put my gauge on. Just touch it, put the dial indicator just over the tip of the tool. Make sure it's not locked up, firm, but you can still move it up. And I'm adjusting the knob to lift the tool up. You can see it's just touched the tool. And the dial indicator has just moved. I'm not looking at the figures, I'm just looking for movement. So I know that tip is a couple of tenths on centre line. Now before we start screw cutting, there's some other things we need to do. What I want to do is set the compound slot over to 29 degrees, which is approximately half the angle of the thread. Metric thread 60 degrees, so you set that at 29. I'll set the 29 on the wrong side, it should be set like this. That is half the thread angle. When we feed in the tool, it should be cut in on the left hand side of the tool. You set the tool square to the part just by touching it on the lock. That so I know my tool square. This is 29 degrees. On the end of the slide, I fit this clamp on the end. Just open, tighten up the cap head. That locks this block. What I need to do now is fit my dial indicator to this bracket. I'll take the end off this indicator and put an extension on it. This is the extension, just gives me another inch or so on the end of the indicator. Now I can move the bracket across, touch it on. One, two, three. That looks about right. I'll just check the run out of the part because all that was machined on my brother's lathe and mine might be slightly different. Or Let's have a look at the run out. So we've got about a thou and a half. Now I don't think that will make any difference. Ideally it would have been best to cut the thread on the same settings that you've turned the diameter. But a thou and a half, you'll probably have that clearance in the nut. Put some blue on. I've just done a light cut and I'm measuring it with the pitch gauge and that looks like 1.5 mil. So now I've zeroed a cross slide, set the stop up against the end, lock it, and then every time we come back it will stop in the same position. And I'm feeding in with my compound slide to take the cut. So the tool is going like this as I feed in, rather than going in like that. So I should be cutting on one side of the tool. Slowing it down as I get towards the end. One, two, three. Stop. Back off. Cross slide. Come back to the start. When you wind the tool off, you know you're clear. 
put it in reverse, reverse it out. Take it back. Back to zero on my cross slide. Feeding the compound slide to put a cut on. Go across. Once you get the thread form, you can start using the nut as a gauge. And just take it easy. Okay, so I've gone in at about 0.75 of a millimetre. Take another cut. Slow it down. Now when I get to um, a few thou from the end, I'll start just using the top slide to go in so it, it forms a V. That's my job done. Now here's a typical reason why you might want this. Um, brass bar, you don't want to cut a piece off just to do the work that you need. So with this now you can put the whole bar in. You don't need a draw bar. Let's tighten this up. I just want to see it running out. Get a dial indicator on that. So if you look at that piece of brass, it's running out. Just less than four thou. Now it could be the brass, it could be the collet I'm using, and it could be the adapter. Oh well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope that was useful. We'll see you next time on Enoch's Engineering. Mm -hmm.